everyone and welcome to a new episode of Genshin Impact. And you wonder why I'm here at the wolf boss. Well, I cannot grind a little for in case Ito is gonna be the banner with the cookie Shinobu. So yeah, I have to farm now for the damn E Oni. But let's not dwell too much into that and see what's the next thing. You must be visiting from Liyue to participate in the Iridori Festival. We'll be your guides and we'll take you on to the island! Huh? Is it Paimon or have we met somewhere before? <laughs> yes, in fact we have. I'm Shu from Feiyun Commerce Guild. Aboard this ship we have calligraphers, painters, and even players of Theater Mechanicus. The inventor of Theater Mechanicus previously came to the Feiyun Commerce Guild seeking investment. Although the guild manager was not interested, the master still wanted to support them. We heard that they'd be demonstrating the game and letting people try Theater Mechanicus at the Iridori Festival. So the guild manager instructed Master and I to take the opportunity to come to Inazuma and investigate the product's potential. Oh! Speaking of which, where's the young master? Ah, well, uh... Master, he's, uh... She's sick? Whoa! Sincho's just sitting there! Sound asleep! Uh, what? Oh. It's the Traveler in Paimon. I presume you are guests in Inazuma as well? It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once again. Oh, we aren't actually guests. We're actually guides for the Iridori Festival. Please, no need to worry. I was a little too caught up in a novel on the voyage here. When I finally realized what time it was, the first rays of dawn were already peeking over the horizon. Uh, yes, now that we've arrived, the Kanjo Commission will likely wish to inspect our invitation letter. Let's keep it in hand, shall we? Huh? That's odd. There was a piece of paper underneath my bag. Strange. I don't recall seeing it there before. Ooh! Let Paimon have a look! Oh! There's no doubt about it. It's from the same series as the story we found before! Even the handwriting looks exactly the same! The story you found before? Oh, yeah! In the warehouse down by the. Shut up. Uh, by the. Oh my god, look! What? Fight. Competition. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Bye, man. For once, can you keep your mouse. mouse shut? to paint portraits of the five Kasen. You know, as part of the Iridori Festival. Poetic stories about the five Kasen have been hidden in various places nearby. If you can find one of the stories and give it to this friend of ours, then there's a chance you'll become the model for the next portrait. Wait a moment. So you mean that... There's a chance of meeting Kelks in person? Uh... Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. You could say that. Really? That's wonderful. I knew that Kelks would attend the Irodori Festival, but convincing my father to let me come to Inazuma was proving to be quite the high hurdle. I had to really rack my mind to come up with the excuse of evaluating the investment value of Theater Mechanicus. Wait, that... Aren't... Aren't Kel and... Show partners or something like that? And when did we bring up cars? Just a few days later, word then came that Calx would be busy painting portraits of the five Kasen during the festival. It is a most rare opportunity for both Calx and I to be in Inazuma together, 
but it seemed he would be too busy with the portraits to meet with me. So, I felt quite disappointed for some time now. Don't worry, Shincho. Even though Calx has work to do, he still has time to see friends. We can take you to see him right now. Also, we heard that Calx did illustrations for your A Legend of Sword novel. Huh, so you've already heard. To be honest, my works have drawn little interest in Liyue. However, the novels are selling quite well in Inazuma with the help of Calx's beautiful illustrations. Okay, but okay, if you know him, then why do you like like you're like his fan or something? It's kind of contradicting if you think a little. Or maybe I look too much into it. Even between the two. Calx is not only a skilled artist, but he also carries out his craft with great alacrity. I heard that it took him merely a few hours to finish the illustrations for the latest chapter. But when I looked at the art, the brushwork did not even look the slightest bit rushed. His work is truly exquisite. Oh my, I was beginning to get carried away there. Let us depart, quickly now. Luckily, the idea of meeting Albedo managed to draw Shincho's attention and keep the situation under wraps. I Let's must just hope don't let anything slip while meeting Albedo. Traveler, Paimon, how are you? And who is this accompanying you? You must be Calx. It's a great pleasure to finally meet you. I am the author of A Legend of Sword, Gen... So they really didn't meet each other, just, I guess, just paper to say. So this is actually Canada now. Uh, forgive me. It's rude of me to introduce myself by my pen name when meeting in person. Please, call me Xingcho. And you may call me Albedo, then. No, no. That would be most improper. Why not? Seeing as we're both friends of the Traveler, It'd be more convenient for us to use our real names. Besides, we've already corresponded with each other many times before. In fact, I feel a bit self-conscious seeing you act so politely. <laughs> it's not just you, Albedo. We haven't seen Chincho act this awkward before either. Uh um, you guys... It's certainly not good taste for you two to be teasing me like that. Oh, by the way, we happened to find a story from the poem hunt competition at the docks. I heard that you are collecting them. Hmm? Poem hunt? Uh, you know, that thing where we have to find pieces of paper with stories of the five cousin? Uh, Venti found one, and then he was allowed to be a model for one of your portraits! <laughs> Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, we understand the story now. Thank you, it's very helpful. Splendid! Though, I'm still piecing together the story myself. Would you kindly explain it to me in more detail? If all of you are free, why don't we discuss this over a meal? Oh, uh, well, about that... Do you have other plans, Shinjo? No, no, not at all. Speaking of dining, Shimura's unagi chaskia is quite delicious. Would you like to go there? Shimura's? Uh, unfortunately, today is a bit windy. Uh, how about Uyu Restaurant instead? That's perfectly fine with me. But I must first unpack my luggage. Let's meet later at Uyu Restaurant. Hmm. Something didn't quite add up just now. Huh? No way! Paimon thinks we acted well together. Uh, Do we say something we weren't supposed to? <laughs> no, Paimon, I'm not referring to us. Traveler, what are your thoughts? Huh? Shinjo's suspicious? Hey! What are you two talking about? Paimon. You read the poem, right? Although it may seem confusing to Xingqiu on its own, what if we read it together with a previous poem we found? 
Read them together? Hmm, let's see. Suiko lost Aoi no Okina's poem in a drunken stupor. So, Aoi no Okina recovered the poem and gave it to some mysterious person. Huh? Wait a minute. Could today's story be hinting that the one who stole the latest copies of A Legend of Sword is Shincho himself? No way! That can't be right! Shincho only arrived in Inazuma this morning! And that is precisely the point of suspicion. If Shincho had only just arrived in Inazuma, how could he recommend Shimura's Chazuke? Moreover, he didn't raise any questions when I suggested another place because of the windy weather. This means he knows that Shimura's is an open-air restaurant. Hmm. Are you saying that Shincho has already been in Inazuma for some time? And that he's only pretending he just arrived? Yes, that is indeed my conclusion. But how could Shincho be the book thief? His mission is to fight for justice, isn't it? There's no way he'd do something against his own ideals. Although I'm not be surprised if he's finally a false star or maybe another player, the playable character to be guilty of something. Even Ito's story was kinda uh, let down, considering that even though he was innocent for something, he wasn't for the other star. We don't even get to see him arrested or at least say in community effect jail. Again, I don't ask for much. Calm down, Paimon. Even though this is the first time I've met Shinksha in person, we've communicated via letters for some time now. I do have some understanding of his character. I think there must be some deeper motive at play here. The story also tells us that Aoi no Okina flees with a poem because of a threat. Oh? Could Shinjo be in danger? It's difficult to say at this point. But given that Uyu restaurant is indoors, It'll be easy for us to detect anyone following or eavesdropping on us. I think it should be safe for us to talk there. I'll be relying on your assistance to get to the bottom of this matter. Good. Then let's head to Uyu Restaurant. I don't see anyone suspicious around. It seems clear for the moment. Let's go inside and wait for Xingqiu. Oh, this whole thing's starting to make Paimon a little nervous. What do we do? And what do we talk about when Xingqiu gets here? First, we must ascertain whether Xingqiu was already in Inazuma or not. If we can find evidence of him deceiving us, then we can use it as leverage to persuade him to tell us the truth. Since we're still waiting for him, why don't you go and chat with other guests in the restaurant and see if you can learn anything useful? All can be. I bring Hu Tao and we interrogate him. Good cup, bad cup. Eh, hey, I'm kidding. We're gonna be both bad cup. The last phase of the Iridori Festival is when they release the all-new publications. The one I'm really looking forward to is A Legend of Sword. That's right. A signed first edition is going to become quite the collectible. I've got to get my hands on a copy. I've seen Gen Yu's signature before. His handwriting is super neat. He must be really diligent about his style. He'll be there in person on the day of the release, so we'll get a good look at him then. I hear that he's actually pretty young. Wait a minute. Did you just hear that? Not only will Xingqiu be signing novels at the release, but his handwriting is super neat? That's a lie. His handwriting is horrible. Hello there, what can I get for you? Hi, do you have any special recommendations today? Why, of course. I personally recommend our freshly caught seafood. It's been pouring these past few days, so the fishing boats haven't been able to sail at all. But the weather finally cleared up today, so we have some fresh catch. So the weather at sea has been bad these past few days? 
It sure has. A few guests from Liyue were just telling me that their boat was heaving and rolling all the way here. They couldn't do anything but sleep the entire trip. Oh, this might be some useful information. Welcome to Uyu Restaurant. Please. Albedo, what should we talk about when Shincho gets here? Any ideas? Hmm. I will try to break the ice by talking about our work on novels and illustrations. If he really is hiding something, then he might feel even more nervous than we do. If we start by talking about our work creating novels, perhaps he will lower his guard. Now he'd like to thank you for finishing the illustrations on time. He said they looked amazing despite the time you had. Is that so? Hmm. That is also a very valuable clue. Mmm, that was delicious. Inazuban cuisine largely consists of fresh seafood, which is certainly to my liking. <laughs> That's good. Worried you might not have an appetite because you didn't sleep well. Now's our chance. Let's talk to Shinkyo and see if he says anything useful. Maybe we could start by asking him about the journey. Well, I've never embarked on such a long journey before. Though I was quite excited when we set off, the long days at sea quickly became most monotonous. Speaking of the journey, did anything noteworthy happen along the way? Well, to be honest, I spent most of the trip with my nose in a novel. <laughs> well, that didn't tell us much. By the way, Shinkyo, what book were you reading on the way here? Oh, I was reading a novel called Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. It was sent to me by my editor. I bet it was a Yaimiko. And I want to say, if you give us option, why if a bad consider that Paima is going to be the one that's going to say it everywhere anyway? Uh, again, this is why my main guy. You go all the way to make him mute and have this so called option. Although sometimes they are funny. Maybe for the hangar event. But most of the time, it just blend. And again, in the Arkham Quest, we have to choose some text to sound he heroic. But it kind of feels flat, considering that he doesn't say it. Didn't you feel dizzy while reading on the ship? <laughs> it was nothing I couldn't handle. Don't forget, I'm proficient in the arts of the Guhua clan. That being said, there were quite a few people aboard who felt seasick. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about what he said so far. To be honest, there wasn't much to see. Just water all around, morning to night. The sheer monotony of the trip caused everyone to grow a little impatient. So, when the peak of Mount Yogo finally appeared in the distance as we approached the islands of Inazuma, Everyone crowded the deck to have a look. However, the ship sailed along at a crawling pace. It took a whole day from the time we saw the mountain peak to the time we docked. Paimon didn't catch anything suspicious so far. Oh, right! If it took an entire day to reach the docks, then it would have been pouring rain at the time they saw the top of the mountain. We learned a couple of things from his account, but we still require more evidence. Let's discuss creating novels with Xingqiu. While it is entertaining to read novels, writing one is an endeavor of its own. You must give great thought to every detail. 
from the layout of the plot to the rhythm of the lines. You really didn't read any of the isekai ones, don't you? And even when you have come up with interesting content, there's still no guarantee that it will be to your liking. I couldn't agree more. Whether it's writing a book, creating art, or studying alchemy, seldom can you really feel joy after seriously delving into the work. Shincho and Albedo are getting into some deep topics now. But nothing suspicious has come up. Speaking of illustrations, Albedo, I've long wished to express my sincerest gratitude for providing the illustrations in my novel. My novel didn't sell well in Liyue, so I must admit that I had some reservations regarding its potential. Yet you've consistently managed to select the most important scene of the chapter for your illustrations. This made me feel as though what I was trying to express could be understood after all. Uh, thank you. However, I took some risks in the illustrations, so... I'm feeling slightly uneasy myself. Light novel illustrations are typically centered around the characters, but this time, I adopted a different approach in the illustration for the last chapter. Well, that scene was intended to depict the change in the world, so I thought it very fitting to draw only scenery. Hmm... Doesn't sound like anything suspicious has come up so far. No, there was a crack in his alibi. My illustrations were sent for printing the moment they arrived in Inazuma. So, logically speaking, there's no way he could possibly know what the illustrations look like. Uh, Shincho, we have something very important to ask you now. Oh? Why the solemn looks all of a sudden? You're gonna be sent to jail, buddy. Huh? I'm afraid I don't follow. Mr. Okazaki told us earlier that actually the weather at sea was very bad these last few days. So when you said that everyone came running to the deck to see Mount Yogo, that couldn't have happened! On top of that, the latest installment of A Legend of Sword will only be revealed at the Irodori Festival. Even we, the creators, haven't received a sample copy. If that's the case, how could you know what my illustrations look like? Uh, uh, well... The jig's up, Shincho. You were already in Inazuma before today, weren't you? Hold on, I'm kind of curious how they're gonna... How to say... Gonna make him look good, although he did this, like... I kind of have a theory, but eh, we all are here, so better see it. Are you in some kind of danger but can't tell us the truth? Don't worry, the Traveler and Albedo are no pushovers. We can help you. No, no, please. You misunderstand me. <sighs> I suppose my lack of sleep is inevitably taking its toll on my mind. I didn't notice for a moment that you were testing me at all. I did, in fact, come to Inazuma early to handle some things. Let me consider how to explain this. <sighs> oh, this is most embarrassing. Oh, well, if this isn't a coincidence, I didn't expect to see everyone here. What are you doing here, Duncan? Tone deaf bard, what are you doing here? <laughs> I heard that the owner of this establishment has some fine aged wines. I didn't want to miss the opportunity to taste them. Hmm, kinda knew you couldn't possibly be up to anything good. Although I kinda feel like we're not gonna see that cutscene here. I just recall. I'll edit out the previous episode and something odd came out. Didn't they have like a cinematic trailer for... Yeah, for the trailer. Why didn't they use that? I mean, I don't mind too much, but if you're going all out to do a cinematic trailer, why don't you use it in the game? Says who? <laughs> in fact, I come as the bearer of good tidings. I just bumped into Kujo Sara a moment ago. She said that the Tenryo Commission has apprehended the criminal who stole all those copies of A Legend of Sword. You needn't worry about it any longer. Really? I thought that's gonna be like the main conflict of this event. Huh? The criminal who stole A Legend of Sword? Uh, did I say something I shouldn't have? Oh no. The person they apprehended 
Was it by chance an editor named Onodera? Apologies, Kujo Sara didn't mention a name. But I saw her taking someone toward Hanamizaka. Everyone, it's too late to explain. We must make haste and rescue Onodera! <laughs> <laughs>